It's been 24 hours. Let's look in on the pressed meat to see how it's doing. So you can see there's actually a considerable amount of uh, fluid. So let's take and pour that off. So that's a lot of fluid. It needs a good pressing. We need a little more pressing in that corner where we've got the, the hole, but uh, let's take this out and uh, clean up the fluid. In this first round, we've roughly lost, uh, you subtract the salt, we've roughly lost around uh, one cup of blood and water. Uh, for the next 24 hours, I'm going to leave uh, the salt as it is and then simply uh, resalt uh, resalt the exterior of the meat and let it go again. Uh, at some point I'm going to start drying the tray completely <clears throat> to uh, try to uh, improve the the rate of uh, the rate of bloodletting. So now let's wait and see how this ages. This is the beginning of day two. This is now um, 36 hours since the salting. Uh, there's a little bit of liquid in the, the bottom, but not a lot. Uh, I'm gonna let this sit for another, another 12 hours and then take this out and uh, uh, wipe it down and put it back in, in the fridge. It's been 84 hours now, and uh, we've gotten some more liquid out. Um, apparently, uh, the board gets a little warped as you uh, let it sit against the, the wet meat, so I'll, I'll uh, let me swap out the board. Um, the meat's looking very good. It's much firmer. Much thinner. So what we're going to do is uh, clean off the pan and, and put it back, and, and resalt, and then put it back in the put it back in the uh, fridge for another couple days. But we're getting really close here to being done. Many of the online recipes call for three days of, of salting, and then this is getting pretty close to that to that limit. Measuring the water and blood and subtracting the uh, volume of salt, it looks like we have about about maybe three-eighths of a cup of fluids that came out the past two days. So now the meat's dry and I'm going to uh, resalt and uh, resubmit this to the refrigerator. I know this seems like a lot of salt, uh, but if you th think about it, we're both drying the meat and preserving it. And it seems as though for a reagent, which is so cheap, you know, the whole box is basically 250 or 240 something. Uh, it seems worth applying it. Okay. So I'm 
going to put a fresh board down. And now I'm going to reapply our 16 pounds of bricks. Each one of these bricks weighs a little over four pounds. Now back in the refrigerator. It's now been five days since we started the salting and this looks pretty much done. There's, there's no uh, significant amounts of blood and water uh, still coming out of the meat. I changed the, uh, the salt, of course, yesterday, but uh, Everything seems dry, so we're going to take now and uh, rinse the meat off, and then we're going to uh, let it soak for uh, two or three hours in, in, in clean water to uh, try to get the salt out of the, the pores as best we can. So it's been about an hour and a half of rinsing. I took them out and uh, dry them off well. Uh, the texture you can see is a little bit spongy on the surface. Uh, still very, very firm. So we're going to take these and we're going to thread, thread string through them and hang them to dry further. Let's find a thick place in the meat to put a hole. I've now hung these in a, in a spare bedroom I have with the, the window open to get some ventilation. And that should hold them for you know, the next period, which I assume is going to be anywhere from five days to uh, two weeks. We'll look in on them. We've now been drying for about uh, 24 hours, and uh, the meat is... Uh, Becoming a little bit leathery, uh, still soft to the touch, but uh, also uh, become considerably darker if you compare this color to the uh, kind of washed out color we had before. And this is actually starting to look a lot more like what the uh, interior is, is anticipated to look like. So it's been three days and I think the air drying is almost done. Uh, it's still, you know, slightly soft to compress. Uh, so you can see kind of salt coming out on the surfaces, but it's firm and we're ready to put the uh, coating for the spice coating. We've got paprika, cumin, uh, cayenne pepper, this fenugreek, which I had to order and some garlic. And this fenugreek has got uh, little little seeds. Uh, they're kind of a little funky flavored. I can't really describe what they taste like, but they need to be ground into a powder. The surface coating, uh, a chemin, this uh, is made up of a half a cup of, a uh, little over half a cup of pap paprika. So it's a 
half a cup and a couple tablespoons, um, about half a cup of the fenugreek, uh, one teaspoon of cumin, about uh, one eighth of a cup of super hot cayenne peppers, and then uh, garlic. And uh, I put about half a cup of garlic cloves uh, and then uh, threw those into the food processor with the spices and about, I think I put it around, uh, around three quarter cup in order to get the uh, coating to something that can be applied like a paste. So the meat, after three days of drying and uh, about a week of being pressed in salt, is now down to three pounds and uh, about 1.5 ounces. So we lost about a, a pound of uh, a liquid. So now we're going to take and uh, smear the paste on the surface and smooth it out with water. And we should be all set to uh, let it sit and age for the next couple of weeks. After much fussing, the uh, coating got put on uh, about as smooth as it could be. Uh, one thing that I learned was that uh, a little more water was needed in order to get the right consistency. So it, it really does need to be uh, about like uh, about like mashed potatoes, maybe a little bit a little bit smoother. And the second thing is that after you get that consistency, you have to let the spices sit and they will absorb water. And that's when they become sticky. Uh, if you take and you put the freshly made compact on the, on the meat, it does not uh, stick intrinsically. It, it really does uh, slide right off and makes uh, processing uh, a real bear. So with that, we're going to let this sit for another, you know, two, three weeks and see what comes out.